Now, four days after Lazarus was dead, buried in the tomb, four days being dead, Hosanna, the Lord saves, he finally comes walking into town, comes walking to, to the funeral. He finally makes his entrance. And, and Jesus had paused for effect. He waited days. And then he went. Hosanna didn't show up when Lazarus was really ill. This was his friend and he didn't show up then. Hosanna didn't show up when Lazarus, uh, when they were planning his funeral, when they were uh, wrapping the grave clothes around his body and laying him in the tomb. They didn't show up. He didn't show up then with his disciples for one of his best friends. Hosanna didn't show up when he was actually laid to rest and the stone was rolled over the grave and still Hosanna didn't show up there. Hosanna waited, and he waited for days, and he waited till everything that human hands could do, everything that the doctors could do, everything that maybe their prayers were doing, everything that we could do, they, he waited till after all that happened, and there's no longer any option. And God does that often. He waits till everything that human hands can do is not an option. And then sometimes, sometimes, he will step in when it fulfills God's greater plan of salvation. We can't know the mind of God. We can't know, you know, people say, well, you know, why did he heal there? And why did he raise someone from the dead there and not here? We can't know the mind of God. We can't know that great plan of salvation in how he is going to let it unfold. But once in a while, in his plan, he will make it happen. And then Hosanna steps in and he saves. In this glimpse that we see of Hosanna, how, how God saves us, Lazarus didn't just need to be feeling sick and feeling like he was dying. Lazarus just didn't need to be mostly dead or just recently dead to show Hosanna's salvation and Hosanna's power over death. Lazarus needed to be really dead. He needed to be really, really dead. And in this case, he was four days dead in the grave and we all love the, the King James Version and he stinketh. This Hosanna... He's the resurrection from the dead. This Hosanna, he is the Lord saves. This is in the past. It's, be, it's before Palm Sunday, but this Hosanna at Lazarus' tomb and calling him out was a picture of the future resurrection and salvation that Hosanna was to bring. On our PowerPoint, he says to Martha in John eleven twenty five. I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Do you believe this? It's a great question for us too this morning. Do we believe this? Chapter 11 verse 43 says, When he had said this, Jesus called out in a loud voice, Lazarus, Lazarus, come out. And the dead man came out, his hands and his feet wrapped with strips of linen and cloth around his face. And Jesus said to them, take off the grave clothes and let him go. What a picture of Hosanna. What a picture of salvation, isn't it? Take off the grave clothes and let him go. And I think it's a word for us even this morning. You know, there are so many things that come against us as Christians. Oh, I, I, you know, I, I even hate the topic of, you know, the COVID thing and against the government. It's not the government that's coming up against us as Christians, but it speaks to the devil coming after us as Christians. He is deceiving many. He has blinded many. And we can go to these people and we can say, take off the grave clothes in Jesus' name. Let him go, devil. And we can say to our sins, our bondages, things that hold us back, Take off the grave clothes and let them go. And we can say even to our flesh, 
We can tell our flesh to line up with the mind of Christ. We can tell our flesh to line up with the word of God. We can say, we take the grave clothes off in Jesus' name. Oh, there's such power in Hosanna in the name of Jesus. Jesus. 